How is it going, guys? We are live streaming again, and this time we're playing Total Tank Generals. Um, just making sure everything is set up properly. I think we're good. Alright, uh, let's start this up. So we're going to be doing the patent campaign. Uh, pretty new to this, so we're going in fresh. And we do have the uh, Rommel campaign happening right now. Uh, that series happening, so I wanted to do something different. I was wanted to do this patent campaign. I was kind of debating whether to do this one or uh, the German one for the series. But uh, of course, we're going to start with Germany. So we'll do the patent one here. I know this was an unannounced stream. I was planning on doing it earlier, but some stuff came up that I uh, I couldn't couldn't avoid. Let's just say that. So it's good to be back, and we're going to start up. So we're going to do Operation Torch. November of 1942. As a part of Operation Torch, the American forces have begun a landing operation targeting French colonies in North Africa, now controlled by the puppet Vichy government. George Patton is leading the attack on French-controlled Morocco. Your task is to take the coastal city of Port Lyoté. This success will most likely convince the French administration in Morocco and Algeria to switch sides. This will allow us to launch an offensive to the east, which will force Rommel to fight us on two fronts at once. All right. Okay, so all US aircraft have 10 additional evasion, which lowers enemy anti-air accuracy against them allowing you to better perform air missions without clearing enemy anti-air. Okay, so that's good. Um, more importantly, dive bombers, strategic bombers, and paradrop missions are significantly cheaper in terms of their air mission points, allowing you to perform them much more aggressively. So it looks like air power is the way to go with Patton here. We just need to get some airports. Okay. So our objectives are Port Leoti, probably mispronouncing that, and this objective over here. We do have an airport here and here. Um, I'm going to... I have a new strategy when it comes to kind... I've noticed the AI is really aggressive, especially during the first turn. So I almost want to set up a defensive perimeter... Uh, right over here. We need this airport for one. That is definite. It would be nice to take this airport, but I think we need to focus our forces down through these two objectives and then move move west. That would seem to be the best option because to secure this airport is really going to help us, but we need we need to secure it first. So let's see what we have available. We could bring in more tanks. We don't really have much available in the beginning. We have artillery. That might be something that we want to get. How much anti-air do we have? We have one anti-air. Which is 320. Artillery is 400. So we can only pick one of them. Do we have a mortar squad? We do, right here. We have a recon. We have what looks like a light tank. And some medium armor. Another light. And just a ton of riflemen here. So what do we need? Well, they'd have two airports. I think the anti-air is going to be better for us. Because this one anti-air gun isn't going to cut it if, it, if we have to deal with any enemy air. Usually you need two guns at least. And we're not going to get many prestige points until we capture these objectives. So I think we're going to go with... I think we're going to go actually with artillery because this seems like a... <laughs> I'm like switching my mind here. Um, art I just know how good artillery is. That's the only reason why I'm saying it. I think we can deal with some air assault. We do have one AA, so at least we'll weaken 
the attacking air as it comes in. So we'll take the artillery. That should help us break through this line. Because this seems like a bit of a slog. There's not much room here. You have this forested area, these two city tiles. And God knows what else. Okay, so we need... We can't bring in anything else. Infantry is 150, yep. Alright. As always, guys, just let me know if the streams, if the audio is okay. I did some uh, tweaking to my uh, OBS settings with the mic, so it should be it should be good to go. Okay, I would like to get some infantry. Like we could hold maybe these three tiles, get some people into these, and just let them push up towards us. We're already holding here. So let's get our armor up, at least. Hey, okay, enemy spotted there. I think we'll take this tile as well. More enemy spotted. Where's our other medium tank? We both- we only have two. One, two... That's light. Light recon. We do need some sort of defense over here. They only have one way through this bridge. The red that's the only way to cross this river. And let's get some infantry over here and entrenching. We're gonna yeah, we're not going to be able to entrench on this tile. I want to see what else is down here. We're going to send a scout, because we don't have any recon. We have an enemy spotted here. And we're going to take some damage. Oh, yeah. Alright, so this anti-tank gun has to go. So we'll pull him back. Get you up here. What entrenchment is this, level 3? Oh, well, we want him on overwatch. Let's already this anti-tank gun. Pretty good damage. Yeah, you can't reach as of yet. I could move him forward if I had room. Or one tile away from hitting him. This anti tank gun moving up. Or, sorry, the uh, anti air. Let's move you over here. That way they can entrench and then we'll move up. Let's move up this infantry. kind of like this spot for our armor. Could leave him here, just as overwatch. Bring these light armors over this way. Until I'm not sure where to put them, I'm just, I want to see what the enemy has in store for us. Everyone's going to go on Overwatch. That can. I just, I wish I could move this mortar up. One, two, three. So the anti-tank gun can't hit us from where he is. One, two, three. Yeah, this is his zone of control here. Or not his... This is as far as he can shoot. Might 
be better to put him over this side. Still can't hit him. Just a tile short, but we're going to move up then the next round. Yeah, you guys need to be overwatched. Yeah, everyone else is good. Okay, let's, uh, let's end the turn. Yeah, so we did... We did nine damage to him. We didn't destroy him, but we, uh... Yeah, they're gonna go after that infantry unit. They're holding on tight. I mean, they're, they're down to three and they're still not retreating. Light tank, light tank. That was... Oh, that was our artillery. Damn it. Where... I gotta pay attention to that. Our light tank and our... Our, our artillery and our anti-tank gun look pretty similar. We could kill this thing. So it would be a... As long as we don't mess. Okay. <laughs> we missed. Two to one. Do I have the anti-tank gun? Or the anti-air gun? Oof. One to four. Okay, one to nothing. Oh man. This is brutal. Two to one now, so I can't deal with him. I need to drop mortars on these guys. We just can't hit anything. Should have been two. I'm gonna pull these guys up. They're gonna they're gonna take some damage. Oh, not enough action points because they went across the river. This is not gonna be good for us. Two to one. They might have something Overwatch here. It's just infantry. Wow. I'm all down for like bad RNG, but this is starting this is starting to get silly. Okay, you guys are committed there now. Can't replenish because this unit is here. They need to pull they need to pull back and out of here. Captured. We captured it. So we can't. I, I guess it's just infant. Like it. It doesn't actually count. Like we're not gonna be able to deploy that later. So who else can fire on these guys? We do have these guys for seven. Missed again. We have to worry about that anti-tank gun on his tiles. We... Pull them over here. Missed again. We have our light armor. At 
least they hit it. It's always a plus. I'd like to see what's over here. So tanks and infantry, at least they missed us. Is pretty low. You guys took damage as well. I'd like to possibly move somebody onto this tile just so they can't walk right through. Yeah, that's it. guys are like just running through us right now. I mean, it doesn't help that we missed probably 50% of our shots last round. It's really putting a damper on our ability to do damage to the enemy. Both of them, just the just the armor. Okay, we should be able to kill them now. Okay, these guys can resupply now. We don't have enough for any other units. Our anti tank gun. We have light armor, we have a medium armor over here. This is the bigger threat. We're going to do six here, five. If we can hit them. Yeah, if I pull him back, I'm not going to be able to fire if I go that way, but I can go here and he won't be able to hit us. Good, we did one extra damage. Still have artillery. So we're going two to two there. There's an enemy down that way. We're not sure what's in here. We know that anti tank gun was in this tile. We also have a level up for our anti-air gun. So anti-air accuracy. As much as I do like accuracy, uh, I do want to focus them on destroying enemy planes. Considering we don't have any airports at the moment. One to three. You guys need to resupply. Alright, at least we're not missing. <laughs> That's... Last turn was abysmal. So if we can deal with some of their infantry, it might be a bit more effective than trying to deal with their armor right now. Because we can let our support units deal with the armor when it shows up. It's kind of a scary Panzer III here. So 
there's no river, but we can still get over on that side. They are entrenched anyways. This is level three. Let's get you guys entrenched at least. At least we have the benefit of cover now. Alright, I think all we really have left is the artillery unit. We do have one more shot with our armor. Oh, we have an anti-tank gun. Who's on Overwatch? Oh, man. Seven. Wow. Okay. I might need you to... Hopefully not die. I can't pull him back anymore. I'm gonna have to pull up to this tile to protect that armor from whatever pushes here. get rid of this infantry unit if we hit him. There we go. So at least that's one less person that's going to be pushing us now. These guys can't cross here. Well, they could, but it's going to use up all of their action points. I'm more worried about this whole line, like all of these question marks, and this piece of our light tank here. We still have mortars. Just gonna mortar here. Just in preparation for next round. So at least hopefully we weaken them somewhat. Because they're gonna be pushing forward. Alright, I think that's it. Gotta try and keep him well. Hopefully he doesn't die. Oh, they're dropping in paratroopers. I wasn't expecting this strong of a... German presence in this area. They're like overwhelming us here. Two to one. They are paratroopers. I mean, I can't even move him forward. Can't fire. You really can't miss right now. That's our artillery. I need my anti-tank gun. And if I fire artillery, are they going to fire back? No. Okay. Yeah, we need to break down some of those fortifications. Good. They missed.
What are we going to do to their armor? One to two. Stop missing. I need you to move up here. Finish them off. So he can replenish now. As well as you. Yeah, they didn't really push from this southern side. We're just going to take that for now. And entrench here. Two to three, we'll take it. Good, he missed. We might actually be able to deal with him with our infantry now. Okay, that's a big help. option to finish him off. We just need to see if we're going to put ourselves in a bad situation to do that. I think we're going to push, pull back a little bit. Can I move this armor? No. Because they could easily overwhelm us and push into this tile anyways. I could bring you over here. Or bring two squads of infantry and block this tile. We could bring three squads. They're pretty strong. Now it also give us the opportunity to deal with this. Okay, so you pull up. One to two. What can we do here? One to two still. Still one to two and one to two. I think I'd rather... Hold this line. Because they can't cross this area. Anti tank gun needs a little bit of a morale boost. Yeah, this armor is still unable to move. I guess we could put him here. One, two, three, yep. Yeah. I think that's it for everybody. Yep. They are just flooding in here. We damaged them, but they still... still hit us. Are they actually going to push us out of this area? Damn mortars. <laughs> Our armor's like, we're out of here. Alright. Well, you could definitely see the attack slowing down. Awesome. Do we want to resupply here? We kind of have to.
you as well need to resupply. Everyone's just so demoralized right now over on this side. So we we shot him we tried four times, missed all four shots. Be a good time to just replenish everybody. Um, I didn't want. I wanted to resupply him, not not uh, entrench him. You are fine. Any tank gun got a level up. We'll definitely give him some accuracy. And our artillery. Let's... So this attack slowed down. Let's hit this anti-tank gun while we know is sitting here. I want to keep him there. Everyone's so demoralized, I can't even use them if I wanted to. We still can't bring anything else in. This unit here, what can we do? We, we can't go anywhere and attack. We could move up. But that anti-tank gun is probably on Overwatch, and it's gonna... It's just gonna... Uh, do damage to a unit. Let's get you over here. Yeah, you need ammunition and morale. Okay. We need another anti-tank, or another anti-air gun. Their mortars are really being effective. Okay. Might as well just resupply them. Now we're going to focus all of our indirect fire... So he just got a level up, so he must have hit something. Now we're going to go with Boogity Man, as always. I mean, the range, we can hit this whole map right now except for these three tiles. So range is kind of, there's really no reason for it. Now I'm wondering if he retreated. We're going to send someone as the Sacrificial Lamb. No, he's still there. He's not on Overwatch, so we didn't take any damage. We're not in range here, so we need to move up. You missed. Now would be a good time. Now that he's over here, he, he can't actually see us through this forest. So it would be a good time to move up. Because we need this airfield so desperately right now. Okay, we got another level up. Good. Anti-tank training. Okay, let's start hitting these. And we can move our anti-air gun up after everything's said and done. He's actually on Overwatch. So 
Let's see if we can knock him off. There we go. There's really nothing I can do to help with this assault. Uh, going into the town by the airfield. All we can really do is get in there and kind of grit our teeth and just take the losses. If you go here, you can still attack. Because that's what we want. We want the airfield. There's that anti-tank gun. Yeah, we're going to go one-to-one -one here. Kind of hoping that they retreat. They retreated. Hold the line. What's this attack? One to one. He's going to need some help with that. We do have the armor. Next round, we can uh, try and get rid of them. I think we should be okay over here. He's probably not going to fire next round. He's out of ammunition. These guys are going to need to be resupplied to get their morale back. So let's put you over here. Move you up. Fortunately, I can't get into range and attack. So we'll take the loss here. Maybe we'll get lucky and hit this. Nope. It's really not a fair trade. Well, I don't. Kind of wonder because his his numbers are so low. I think that's it for us. We actually have someone who can attack still. God, they actually retreated. Can we take this position? I mean, these guys still have zone of control. So, no. Next round, it's ours. this airfield. It's good for us. Missing marathon continues. Okay, so I want the mortars and artillery firing on this area. 
Do you have three units in there? Okay, we're out of ammunition. We're gonna deal with this right now. Two level ups, both of our both of our units. So yeah, soft attack, tank hunter, tank hunter is always medium armor is. Uh, we're gonna keep them tank focused. You missed, and now our infantry is gonna pay for it. So if we take this airfield, that's it for them. We know there's an anti-tank gun there. So one, two, three. We can't... We have to stay out of these tiles. And we know our next push is going to be through these. So we could always bring some... Troops down this way. One, two, three. I mean, do we want recon to see what's over here? I mean, I'd rather just drop... Yeah, we need to know what's in there. You can't do indirect fire with, uh, with the air. So I'm going to keep bringing the infantry down and bring the armor that I can still move. Start moving them west. Well, that's the infantry. You guys need to replenish. You're completely spent. Could put... I don't know if he can see this tile. I would assume he can. To bring my anti-tank gun through this area. So yeah, he's definitely got range on us. That's a lot of damage. That went really well. So, he's probably going to resupply. So, I'm going to bring my armor here, and we're going to overwatch. Still attack. Let's get try and do some damage to this mortar squad. Yeah, we'll take it. Just thinking. I don't think they're going to be able to do a cons an assault enough to take away this airfield. We should be fine. We also have more prestige. So we don't have any medium medium armor to choose from. So let's let's not take this light tank. We need something that we're gonna use for the rest of this rest of the campaign, which is going to be we're definitely going to want an anti-air unit. 
I know we're probably not going to... Well, we're not going to be dealing with much air right now. But throughout the whole campaign, we will be. Let's just move here. You guys have no morale. Now we're still in range. That's a light tank, so let's keep him back. This medium could move up. They might focus on him. So we'll move we could move both of them up. I'm just hoping he's not going to do much damage with four strength. And we're going to move our mortar squad. We could move here, but that's going to open up. Well, we do have zone of control. I think we're going to, we'll just keep him there. Seems like they don't have many units left. Pretty much spent them with that first first few initial waves. And the mortar just continues to fire on us. Hold your ground, men. Alright, so we have our dive bomber. Artillery. Perfect. We'll take those odds. Let's get our support units up. Hoping that they're going to retreat. We missed. Oh no, no we didn't miss, they missed. There we go. So the airfield's ours. We got more, more bombs to use, so let's use... Once we get a chance, there we go. Could actually do this. Is that overkill? I mean, we'd get rid of two units instead of one. Yeah, let's just get rid of that for now. Let's hold off on it. Just die already. Alright, so we have an objective this way. Doesn't look like there's anything in there. We're kind of hemmed in by this town. It'd almost be better for us to take this objective to fire on over here. Take that objective. We still have room. Where's that second anti air gun? Sixty five percent. Ugh.
resupply. This infantry can move up. We can bring one piece of armor down here, at least for support. question is, where do we want to use this? These guys are going to resupply. If we can get rid of these, it'll save us a ton of time. We do have four. We could do... I mean, either way, we're just going to use it on these two guys. That'll save them from resupplying, and then we're going to have to deal with them next turn. That's it. Was that an enemy recon? They don't own any airfields, so I'm not sure where that came from. Yeah, let's level up. Oh, damn it. Hit the wrong button. That's a mortar squad in there. It's gonna get overwatch on us. And that's heavy infantry as well. to just pull up all the way, as far as we can. Now... Yeah, let's hold off on the air for a second. Pull them out of Overwatch. I want to try and assault them. We could soften them up a little bit with our armor. Just thermal. Everyone's morale so low. They only want to move one tile. You're good, though. This is the biggest threat. With the heavy infantry in there. Alright, so they're retreating now. Nobody can move. So that will... That will be ours next round. We could do an assault. We don't have... Oh, we need to be past this line. Okay, well that's fine. We'll just attack. Or... Could wait till next turn? Either way, it's going to happen next turn. And we'll save ourselves some losses as well. And 
Alright. Full attack. Why can't you fire? There we go. So where's my medium armor? So the objectives are ours. It's just a question of do we want to use our... Let's see if we can get a little bit more experience. I'm more concerned about the anti-air guns. So as you can see, every time they fire, they get experience. I think kills will give you more. No, it's just firing. Artillery would be nice to fire. The mortars, I would like them to level up. So we can get the extra range. The infantry... I don't really care if they level up too much. Things. We're going to have to get right in there to attack them, which is fine. We're going to take damage here, but I'm more, more worried about the speed. Everyone will replenish next uh, next campaign. It's like well, hopefully we have someone left to move. Okay, so that's yeah, that's all the Germans. Okay. Question is, who do we want the experience to take the point? Anti-air gun, definitely. Alright, so we got a minor. That was a pretty difficult. Well, the first few rounds were pretty difficult considering the waves they were throwing at us. So we'll continue. After on. the success of Operation Torch, the Americans have begun their offensive on Tunisia, while simultaneously making Morocco and Algeria side with the Allies. In honor of the operation, the Sultan of Morocco decorated George Patton with the Order of Wissam Alawit. The situation on the front line has now turned in the Allies' favor. American commanders have now begun the race to Tunis. They plan to reach Tunisia before German troops have a chance to set up defenses. Tunisia will most likely prove to be the setting for the battles that will decide the ultimate fate of the African campaign. All right, so it looks like we're sticking in North Africa. March of 1943. Axis powers in Africa are under severe pressure. They are being attacked by the British from the east and the Americans from the west. After the second corps defeat near Kasserin Pass, George Patton took command of the unit. He proceeded to enforce strict military discipline among his subordinates. Americans are threatening Germans with an attack on their back ranks while their forces are busy defending against the British. This has caused the Germans to launch a preventative attack near El Guetta. Your task is to repel their offensive. All right. So the brilliant is seven turns. That seems insane. Major is 10. So advanced medium tank, advanced light tank. Yeah, I would like I would like that advanced medium tank. All right, let's see what we're working with here. So we have an objective over here, an airfield, another air. They have three airfields on the map, and a big separation. 
so what I'm thinking here is play defense on these tiles while we push some troops over here. At least until we get uh, we withstand the first few turns of of the enemy waves and send a few troops over here to take this airfield. So we need our support units, definitely. Where's our artillery? You are going to go here. Farthest back, we have mortars. Do we want the mortars over here to help support? Definitely want anti-air. Anti-tank. Do we have two anti-tank guns? Not yet. I would like one more, maybe. Anti-air unit can... take anti-air attack. Now our medium tanks, they're going to be pushing... They're going to be pushing uh, east. Two medium tanks. We have a decent amount of prestige. Mortar might not be a bad idea. Let's put them over here. Wish we had more medium tanks. So what do we have? We have two anti-air tanks, one artillery, one anti-tank. I don't want you guys over here, not back there. I'm not sure where I want you, actually. Come over here. Let's buy another medium tank. You need a level up, so they're going to go with soft attack, because of light armor I want. I want kind of focused on dealing with infantry. And with infantry, we can buy some assault infantry. So that might not be a bad idea. Reasonably cheap. Almost want another anti, um, or another artillery. It's just a very effective unit. So we'll take it. We have our recon. And the rest is infantry. Make sure we're bringing in our level 2s. We do have a level 1 here. Do we have room for you? Yeah, right over here. Alright. So we have our defensive line. We're going to kind of hold probably these three tiles. And let these guys hit our lines while sort of this assault force heads east. That's the plan anyways. We'll see. Boy, it seems unbalanced. The game? Or what do you mean? For my audio? Is my audio still not right? Okay, so we have something here. We have a ton of infantry and a light armor. Let's get our guys into defensive positions at least. Alright, there they are. So we might not want to sit on this tile, considering that armor can fire at us.
Hey, Joshua. All right, thanks. We don't have any recon. I want to know what's in this tile. I hate sending people out to take casualties, but oh, yeah, that thing's got to go. So as much as I want to... I'm going to use the mortars over here. Missed one. Okay. We need him out of here. And we still have one artillery piece for this. I'll have Overwatch on as well. Beautiful. Okay, so we can actually attack them from here. I would like to deal with... with that anti-tank gun right now before it has a chance to resupply. We're going to take those numbers. Hopefully we don't miss. There we go. Okay, we can't pull back, but hopefully we can do enough damage to these guys where they uh, fall back. Heavy infantry. All right, well, at least they're retreating. Another light tank over here. Everybody's going to be going on Overwatch over here anyways. Because I can't reach. Yeah, we can't reach with our anti-air guns. They need to move up. Because we know they're going to throw their forces at our lines. I am going to bring this recon vehicle over here. We could still attack. And take the airfield right now. We're going to be putting that recon at a vulnerable position. But we're going to do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Never mind. We could capture it and then pull back, I think. Really don't want to lose that recon. I mean, if we can capture it, we would get a recon out of it. Now we're gonna pull back. That we're gonna lose that anti. We're gonna lose that recon from that anti-tank gun. Infantry against an eight stack of tanks doesn't seem smart. We're just going to have to wait for the next turn. Because we have all of our armor and everything ready to go. Yeah, that's it. And that's why we want two anti-air guns. Mortars. No, don't survive. No. Somebody's uh, entrenching down there. Don't 
like those odds. I don't know what's over here either. Two to four. I'm going to pull an infantry squad. I don't know where I can put them, where I'm going to get line of sight over here. What's the objective on this mission? The We have an objective over here on the east, and then one down through here. So the goal is sort of to hold this position, at least until they throw a few waves at us. The enemy loves to just throw their their troops at you the first first couple of turns. So let them kind of weaken themselves on our line while we kind of push this way, and once they slow that attack down, we can maybe push south. Our main objective right now is to take this airfield. It's really hindering our uh, our ability to see what we're up against, because we know that anti-tank gun is over here. I don't know if it moved up to this, but I would love to get sight on it. Let's... Yeah, we're not going to do any damage to that armor. I don't like using an arty artillery attack on one... one tank, but we need to break through. There we go. Now we should get some good numbers here. Might retreat. No, I mean, if we can get two points off them, that's good. Now, let's get the infantry here. Okay, so there's the armor and heavy infantry this way. So that needs to go. So morale, heart attack, heart attack for the armor. We're going to have to swing around so we're able to attack. You're only going to be able to move on tile, so let's get you up here to finish him off. And he got his morale back from killing him. We can still attack if we enter this tile. Or not. Never mind. Yeah, we can't get into the airfield with this anti-tank gun here. So next round, we're going to have to focus our efforts on getting rid of this with our artillery. Our mortars aren't going to be able to, to hit it from here, I don't think. Where... Here it is. So it has a range of four. One, two, three, four. No, we need it's six tiles away. Where's the other anti-air gun? Can we hit these guys? No. Okay, so we're just going to entrench here. Got a few level ups. Light armor, we need soft attack. Artillery, boogity man for the morale check. You guys are just sitting here. I'd much rather have more support this way. I mean, you're not doing anything there. It's nice to have a bit of reserves. But uh, we need to try and get this dealt with quick. nothing we can hit. Alright, that's it. God, those mortars. 
That is causing so many problems for us. Those, <laughs> those guys are so lucky to be alive. The only reason they're alive is because they missed. Okay, well, you're going to have to deal with them. So, we need to resupply. I'm going to focus on you. That's an anti-tank. Where's our other artillery? Right here. I mean, this is an issue too. These mortars have to be dealt with soon as well. We're going to have to split our armor up where they're not all in the same tile. I would like to hit the heavy infantry. I don't have a choice but to put them in the same tile, though. I mean, with their morale being so low. Enemy spotted. That's probably... Well, I think he must have retreated. Or we destroyed him, either one. Let's get you out of here. We'll pull you guys in. How are you going to fare well against the heavy infantry? One to two. We will... We will what? Take this airfield. Keep moving. So the anti-tank is destroyed. Now, we can possibly deal with... You? Do you feel like Patton's campaign is much harder than Rommel's so far? I... Uh, it's hard to tell. I think... The units don't seem to be as good, and the fact that I think Rommel's army comes with more AP, it uh, it helps a lot when you're attacking. The, these beginning missions, it's the same with the Rommel campaign, the beginning missions were a lot harder, but as your units progress, level up, and you, get, uh, you just get better units, the campaign becomes easier. Pushing as hard as I thought they were going to. Yeah, both of our artillery is done. Our mortars are resupplying. We could think about pushing up. We also don't have much in the way of prestige. can't resupply these guys now that they're they moved we will take those might as well entrench them at least they're gonna get some cover hopefully the mortars leave them alone let's move up slowly Because really, we only have infantry here for the most part. Let's just... Hold on a second. Don't entrench them just yet. 
Okay, so they have an anti-tank gun and two units of infantry. Going in this tile would be pretty bad. Anti-tank gun doesn't have overwatch. If we go here, we can attack. It is light armor as well. Yeah, the American tanks have less armor than the German ones, yeah. Yeah, they just, the, all of their units just seem a bit weaker. I haven't, it'd be interesting to see the infantry lining them up. I'm not sure what the infantry stats are compared. I did try a Russian, I tried the first mission on the Russian campaign and that was, the amount of, all you use is infantry. You, know, you get very little tanks. I think the Russian campaign, at least, that first mission. The Russian one was definitely the hardest one that I, at least for me, that first mission was pretty bad. So we're going to move the armor up. It is a risk of this. Like we're going to take 8 to 2. Wow. Well, maybe we can weaken up their infantry. Take him on Overwatch. If we miss, okay, I was gonna say if we miss, we're not gonna do it. I was hoping to take him off Overwatch and move our infantry into this tile. I think we're our hand is kind of our hand is kind of uh, dealt right now. We need to we need to take the pressure off of these tanks. Infantry is, seem, is the same, but maybe if you're attacking into entrenchments, it feels like there is better because it gets defense from entrenchments, right? Yeah. Yeah. Have you played the Russian campaign at all? Bone? So we're going to move the infantry in here. And we're going to take that overwatch hit. Yeah, because we have these assault infantry. That's pretty good numbers. Oh, not when you miss. So we can give these guys closed attack, which will help them... Can you feed the cats? I forgot. Yeah, yeah, I'll feed them. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm not getting up to feed them now. Thanks, Emily. That's my wife, by the way. Don't worry, they're not... They have dry food. Uh, but I'm not getting up to give them their uh, wet food. But they'll, they'll be fine. I'm trying to win a war here. I can't feed cats. I'm trying to uh, push the Germans out of North Africa. Priorities. Just gonna have to take the hit with this anti-tank gun. Ugh, that hurts. Because the amount of damage they're going to do to those light tanks is not, not ideal. Let's move you guys up. How's our arty? So it can hit pretty much the whole map. We won't need to worry about it until near the end, and then we'll move them. So we have infantry here. We can... 
Do we want to pull them up? There's really no need for it. We might as well push the attack while we're here. Two to two. Yeah, I played all of them. I thought the Russian one is easier compared to the US since you can spam enough infantry to encircle enemy units. Okay, yeah. Would you re recommend to buy this game on sale? On sale? Yes, definitely. I am, well, I mean, depends on your on your interests. This game, There's definitely other games out there like this if you want to compare, like Panzer Corps, Panzer Corps 2. Um... So if you like games like that, then you're going to enjoy this one, definitely. Personally, I would buy this without a sale, but it's definitely worth a sale, in my opinion. You gotta feed those cats now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's... Don't make me block you, Emily. And thank you for the uh, $2.99. I'll, sp I'll use that to uh, buy wet cat food. Just debating whether I want to take these hits or not. Now you got me all distracted but with cats. Alright, let's just end the turn. That's, uh, we'll just entrench here. Yep. Nothing's getting through. I had a Stella and Simon. Hello, Stella and Simon. How are you? I hope you guys are being good. You're listening to your mother and father. So our air, anti air got level ups. We're going to stick with the anti air perks. They're great uh, tank destroyers, but we're going to focus them on air. Okay, so we need some arty happening in this tile. Going to hold off on that arty attack right now. I need to see what's happening over here. So we should be up. We're not even going to do any damage to these guys. Wow. What are they? Italian Light Infantry. Oh, no, see, I'm reading that wrong. Okay. That's finally finished. You guys need to replenish now. These mortars... ...are still causing issue. One to two with the light armor. We can... Enemy spotted. Oh. Okay, well, we know where the other Artie's going. And I need some recon on that as well. So I can use our dive bombers. Yeah. That thing needs to be destroyed. Excellent. We know he's going to take some damage coming in. I was just kind of hoping that it uh, wasn't enough not to uh, diminish, diminish its firepower. So what is this? This is our artillery. So we want accuracy. Reposition. This unit has additional three defense against artillery attacks from air. Okay, no. We want accuracy. So we could probably start moving this mortar south. 
Because there's not much else over here. Just a few infantry units. We do have this recon. And again, I have to put our units in the same time. Uh, heart attack. Now, I don't think we need this medium armor moving that way. Let's pull him down. Actually, bring him up here and we could possibly take him off overwatch. Or, I guess that was a mistake there. I didn't realize I'd be able to hit him through here. So we took a bit of damage. Four nothing. Medium Italian armor. We want to hit the infantry or finish off this tank. We're still not going to do any damage to him, even with his... Even with him being at one health. It's because of his entrenchment. Missed, but at least he's retreating. Don't move up. In there, stay there. We're going to take that damage. Okay, hopefully this infantry can deal with this anti-tank gun. Yep. Alright, yeah, I want to be leveling up our assault because they're, they're the ones that we're going to be carrying over. So we're going to pick close defense for you. Do have the mortar. Considering we only have infantry to deal with it, we'll uh, we'll use it on this. And we could start moving these guys up as well. We're going to move up the artillery if we can. Doesn't look like it. Okay, well, at least he's retreating. Heavy infantry and light infantry. Okay. Yeah, none of these guys can move. Would be nice to capture that airfield soon. Everyone's pretty spent. Uh, it's kind of a dangerous call. It's just infantry. They get destroyed. Not a big deal. Okay, we... I'm actually... There's... Where are those mortar crews? Also got more prestige. What can we bring in? We don't really need anything right now. And I 
a medium tank would be nice. But uh, I don't really want to buy a medium tank right now. If I had an advanced medium tank, I would buy one. But right now, I can't really. If you encircle a unit that would retreat, you get money for it instead. Okay. Yeah, that's one thing I always forget to do is to encircle troops. You can try to encircle these guys. What? I, what decides that they're encircled? Isn't it having one... Would having an infantry here and infantry here make them encircled? I know you don't have to use all of the... Like, totally encircle them. So if I... I can't attack with them anyways. I guess we'll save our air for next round. We'll just bank the points. Or... Yeah, I can't put them anywhere. Where they can fire. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so... What's priority here? Let's deal with this up first. They actually didn't fire their mortars, so maybe they were resupplying. Yeah, we're not going to be able to attack with these guys right away. Do we need them up here? That's the question. These guys are finished. So we could... Let's just start pulling them back over here. You can just resupply so you can get your morale back. And we could just kind of carry the mortar crew along this ridge, I think. We're not going to be able to hit these areas, though. If all, if all hexes they could try to escape to are an enemy zone of control, they're encircled. It's easy to do near map edges, mountains sometimes, yep. Alright, we can try, I'm trying to do it with these guys here. So they can't, well no, they can retreat out there. That be I mean, we're just going to destroy them, or are they going to surrender? Okay, there we go. So we got a bit of... Prestige level ups. Anti-air needs resupply. So does this armor... Let's get a pres or a um Oh yeah, let's definitely do that. Okay. Yeah, I see that. We're gonna take a hit, obviously, because they saw that anti tank gun. Or the anti air gun. And wow, they even had uh, I didn't see that. They had a uh, interceptor in there. Wow. They really got that town fortified. 
Hey, I've been watching for s watching some of your TDG videos and enjoy them a lot. Oh, thanks. Thanks, nurse. I'm glad you enjoyed them. Been enjoying this a lot, actually, this game. Alright, so well, we can't really use our air right now. So, let's get... This armor, what do we, 2-2? Two, two? Yeah, it doesn't help that all of our medium armor is up here. Maybe we do need to buy one. And it would help if we got our... Like... Oops. There we go. Uh... It would be helpful if we had, like, our support units move up as well. Everybody's kind of away from the fight. You're not going to do much against that armor. We might have to take this 2-2. Two -two. You might miss. We might miss. Okay. Next round we'll be able to deal with it because we'll have most of our support units up front. We still have artillery. I want to hit that. Expedition. Found your channel with Expeditions Rome. That's that's a while ago. Yeah, you've been around for a while, Joshua. Yeah. yeah I recognize a lot of the names uh, through the comments section. Expeditions Rome. That game was all right. will work now. I'm going to take the risk on it. I'm just kind of thinking... Okay, that was good. Now we might get some good numbers. Uh, where do we have anything that can fire? Probably just infantry. Yeah, take that. You're not going anywhere. need our other infantry up here for support. This guy's in a bad spot. Kind of push that attack. I didn't even see him before, otherwise I would have used him. the airfield as best we can. Got this mortar squad. I'm going to bring him down. squad. I, can't, I wish I could resupply him, but he's used up some action points already. I'll just keep him in the back line for now. I'm kind of worried about some of their mortar squads. Do you guys need to move yet? Not yet. Yeah, that's it. Supplying. It's okay if you want to focus your mortars on them. It's not great for our morale, but it's 
kind of a waste of what they're doing. Alright, so we have more air to use. We just don't know what's over here. And I'd rather send in the infantry than use a recon plane. Oh, man. This town's actually open. So let's take it. Our assault infantry. Yep, we want them in there. We'll take defense of one. That is great. Perfect. That is really bad for them. So we're going to use... Well, we don't know if they have any more anti-air. Let's drop it right on them. Oh, I didn't even... Was that sitting there the whole time? I didn't even see it. Okay. Well, anyhow, we did a lot of damage. We did two points to each one of them. And we'll do some counter battery as well. We have this lake, so these are the only two tiles that we can pass through. And we have our artillery. I want to kind of hold off on the artillery because we have our armor here. It's kind of a bit of a shooting gallery. It's just all infantry. We can't attack with them just yet. Yeah, he went up on a hill. Let's get the anti air up here. Put them on this tile, we can actually hit them. And we do need some armor so they can't rush in here and destroy or attack this anti air gun. But I guess we own the zone of control of this tile, so it's going to be hard for them. Let's get more infantry in here. the assault infantry in this so we can move them up the next turn. These guys just don't want to break out. Okay, they retreated. Maybe we can force them out. We can't move into the tile even if they do break out. While they retreated, at least the next turn they might just sit there and resupply and we can take that point. You have this armor. right now. Yeah, you guys are pretty weak from the last assault. God, they're just just sitting in those tiles. It's such a juicy target. Unfortunately, we weren't up far enough to take advantage of all of our firepower. Okay, now we can move him up as far as he's going to go. We could move up and attack. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's do it. Okay. More infantry coming in. Now they're not going to be able to attack from that area. I'm more interested in just getting men to the front. And some recon is also nice, too, to see what the hell's going on over here. So they might die. They're light infantry. It's not a big deal. We're not once after... A, I don't really use my uh, light infantry late in the campaigns. If they sit there, I think you encircle them. If you capture that point and assault to capture. I think I can hear the cats crying of starvation from there. Yeah. Well, they're going to starve... Yeah, we can try and circle them, bring them over here. Maybe even capture this airfield. Won't be this round, though. Hmm. What are these? More light infantry. Just want to help them out a little bit, give them a bit more firepower. <laughs> you guys want me to go feed them? I'll go feed them. <laughs> I just don't want you guys sitting here for like, you know, watching a dead screen. I will, I will put the war on hold for cats. I think that's our turn. All right, I'm, I'll be back. I'll, let me uh, go to the next turn. I'm sorry guys, it's too late. The cat's starved to death already. So I'm sorry to sorry to say. At least we'll save money on cat food. Okay, I'm not sure what we missed. Uh did that unit get wiped out? Did two units get wiped out? I think we lost two infantry infantry units. Which is kind of a shame. We were sort of expecting that. Yeah, we're going to have a range on this armor. We have to hit it, though. So 
So it's going to be one to five. We'll take that. And pushed out some units with mortars. Yeah, I... I was figuring those two units were going to die. They were kind of in a bad spot. It's just light infantry. I, like I said, I don't really use those later on in the campaign, so should be okay. Ugh. One to one. Okay. <laughs> We're just going to spend our whole turn trying to get rid of this one armor. There we go. Thank you. want to take that airfield. So, we can take this objective. Uh, let's fire... Let's at least weaken them once. Get these guys... Yeah, the heavy infantry is the bigger threat. We almost can't take that objective until these infantry are dealt with. I mean, we could surround them. We'll do that next turn. We're going to take those guys. Okay, this is a pretty juicy target for our artillery. Two mortar squads and infantry. And we're going to do four. over here. I might actually use a recon. We can use a recon and a dive bomber. Alright, so they don't have any heavy equipment by the looks of it. There might be something over here. So we need to get rid of this infantry. Perfect. I'm going to try and surround these two. Let's wipe him out. He doesn't have any ammunition. We have heavy infantry on this tile. need to pull these guys back. Just the 
morale is so low. Yeah, let's pull them back. Got a 12 stack that we can't use. At least we got rid of, rid of one mortar. I think there's one over here as well. So we have assault infantry. We could weaken them. I said, I want to try and encircle them. Resupplying. That aircraft out of here. Oh, they're flooding in more units. Oh my god, we just... What was that? Where are these guys coming from? We saw... We recon that whole area. Wow. That was a surprise. Missing isn't a surprise. Take the airfield. And let's get over to here. Do need to help him out? defense. Let's do press the advantage so this unit regains up to 10 action points whenever it destroys an enemy. We finally have our armor up to where we can use it properly. Okay, let's recon this area. What the hell do they have over here? So they have no reserves left. They must have been that one hidden stack up top. Yeah. I haven't played the US. What is their special power? The special power is cheaper uh, air power. So I think as the Germans, this is three. Uh, and this is six. And this is eight. I could be wrong on those numbers, but you get cheaper air power. Um, I don't know if there's a way I can actually show you exactly what it is, but that's... That's the gist of it for the most part. Current amount of air force. Yeah. Yeah, cheaper air power. Yeah, just like, yeah, bone. They get cheaper planes.
cannot believe how stubborn these two units are. Just trying to think of a way to surround these units because they have nothing up here. I mean, bringing armor up is definitely something that we're going to need to do. Same with our mortars. We can't reach these guys. We're going to just pull them up. Supplying. Yeah, it's just our artillery left for the most part. fire here. I want to just weaken these guys so they're not so effective with their assaults. Yeah, they do have heavy infantry there, so I... I don't want to lose another assault infantry. I'm just going to put him here and take care of this unit. Actually do four damage. How much damage would we do to you? Yeah, we'll just kill this one off. I'm trying to maneuver to surround these two guys. Stealth. Yeah, we're going to take stealth so we can... This unit cannot be targeted by overwatch attack. Let's overrun. This unit will regain 10 HP when it initiates a successful action, or assault action. Rivers are good. The, a the AI loves to use overwatch. Strap bombing on German. Germany is five. Strap bombing. Okay, so it's four for us. And our planes are also less likely to get hit by AA. Yep, that's right too. That's probably why, um, was it AA or and the interceptors or just uh, AA? trying to break out, so they broke out finally. So that's good for us. Um, it kind of pushed us back, because if we attack them head on, two to three. One to four. Okay, we missed them. Press the advantage. We're going to capture this objective down here before we're going to capture this. Overrun is, is a major W for me. I use assault a lot. Yeah, see, I've always had bad luck with assault. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong. I, I've tried it a few times in my personal... on my personal time, and... Every time I do it, it fails. But I'm also not using strong... Well, they're strong units. They're not, like, withered too bad, but... 
I've tried it with three, three like eight stacks of infantry, and it's failed before. I mean, it all depends on what you're using and what you're facing up against, obviously. So probably just not using it in the right, in the right uh, context. So we should be able to make these guys surrender now. So sick of these guys. Yeah, we did your job for you. Two to one. What are we getting here? So we're getting two hits. It's all just kind of best when it's 100%. It gets huge bonuses versus encircled demoralized units. I think you need your full AP bar as well, don't you? Or at least pass this one notch. We do have a pair drop. We could try that. I mean, we don't need it over here, but I want to surround these guys. I mean, I would rather do a strategic bombing over here, but... Just for the hell of it. The accuracy. Okay, uh, let's not give them the XP, though. Let's give our assault squad the XP. Beautiful. Now we can kind of throw these guys to the wind, because I don't think they follow us on the next mission. It's 10 AP for a normal attack, but he, yeah, he uses all the AP. Don't have any already left. We do have our mortars, they're just really far away. So we can start pulling our armor up. Yeah, I don't want to get right up onto them. Where they won't get two attacks on us. This we can do is Overwatch here. Yeah, our artillery can't actually hit that area. There we go. Who's this? Might as well entrench. I 
just don't want to put them right now up next to them. I want them to come to me if they're going to break out. And they didn't do anything. Okay. So let's surround them. I guess we can only go here. We're gonna. I wanted them to take the Overwatch hit. We could have used our tanks to um, take it away. And I just don't really care about those those infantry. Okay, I want the medium take getting the experience. You can go in just... I mean, you fought hard for it, so you might as well enjoy it. Mortars, where are you? Assault squad will get this XP. That's right. Now, what do we want to... Oh, actually, I would like my anti-air or anti-tank gun to get the XP. What are you? Three? Are you level two? Let's get you in here. You can have it. Ten out of thirteen turns. Still got a major uh, victory. It's not great, but it's okay. The only thing, you know, I wish we got that advanced Sherman or uh, the advanced medium tank, which is the Sherman. The victory of U.S. and British forces in South Tunisia forced Axis forces to retreat further north where their resistance didn't last very long. Tunis fell in May, and the remaining Axis forces were forced to surrender. The North African campaign has finally drawn to an end. This strategically important victory meant that the Allies would now be able to conduct an invasion on the Axis-occupied Europe. Their first target would be the Italian island of Sicily. Preparations for a landing operation have begun. Operation Husky would soon commence. So that's Italy, if I'm not mistaken. July of 1943. After winning in North Africa, the Allies have commenced a landing operation in Sicily. The British are conducting their offensive in the southeastern part of the island, while the Americans and General Patton's 7th Army are pushing from the south. Invading the homeland of one of the major Axis powers is an immensely large step towards victory. You will be tasked with securing and expanding an American beachhead. In order to succeed, you will need to take control of the town of Jela, which will allow you to continue your march further inland, where you will join up with the British forces. All right. So, seven turns for a brilliant victory, nine... What is this? Heavy tank. Yeah, the M27 and M26. And then we'll get the medium Sherman. If we get a brilliant victory, self-propelled artillery. I don't I wasn't a big fan of those for the German campaign. I never use them. Advanced medium tank. We get the heavy tank and a tank destroyer. Okay. What do we got? We got an airfield, airfield, three airfields. Where are we spawning from down here? Oh, we can actually come down through here. Interesting enough. Our... Our HQ is right here, though, so we need to protect that. So we need at least a defensive force over here. Interesting. Okay. Um, 
So let's focus on that because that's going to be the most important thing. We have 2,700 prestige to use. We could buy some heavy infantry. Strong defensive infantry unit. I mean, the attack values for defense are better than the assault infantry. What about mechanized? So it's the same. But they also have higher soft and hard attack. They have less action points. Action cost. Okay. So considering this is going to be a defensive line, it might not be a bad idea to put defensive infantry. Because this is pretty open. I mean, we do have this... Where's the... There's only one river crossing. Is that right? There's one over here as well to come at from the rear. So we're going to have to clear out this area. We need to get that airfield as soon as possible. So I think we're going to need... Don't want artillery that close to the enemy. Also going to need anti-air for over here. So we could put the anti-air unit here and maybe an anti-tank unit. Or here. And I bring infantry in to like control this line. Actually have a level up for him. bring in our assault infantry. We'll buy two heavy infantry for now and see what else we want. better light tanks or infantry so obviously the light tanks plus they're gonna have range as well so we could bring our light armor over here and bring the mediums uh, on the other the other spawn area Really wish we had that advanced, uh, the Sherman. We just, we have a ton of infantry. I wish we could sell these. But it's not possible. I just don't want to cheap out over here because this is, if we lose this, we lose the, lose the match. Almost thinking another anti-air. And infantry. Up that way. And then the rest will just bring in our own, the riflemen. Because there's only one left. That's it. That's it for over here. There's nothing else we can put. So we'll bring our artillery down. That should cover most of the map, even right in this tile. They have two units. They have a heavy infantry unit and light. I 
So we'll get our medium armor here, ready for that assault. Two tiles away. Would like some assault infantry. And we'll take another Lee. We'll take two of them. And that's going to be all of our prestige. Maybe an anti-tank gun for down on this side. How much are the anti-tank guns? 300. I mean, it would be nice to have an anti-tank gun down here. Swap you out for here. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to waste our prestige on a infantry, a basic infantry unit. We'll save that up and spend it on for something else. And we'll do our level up. So anti-tank training for the anti-tank gun. That makes sense. Yeah, we're gonna need to push this infantry up. Alright. This is so sketchy. I don't like this at all. Alright, let's get our infantry up. We also don't know what's happening over here. We'll try and take the airfield before moving any troops over there. Because obviously, as you can see, they got a ton of it. Um, where's our artillery? Actually, we'll do the mortars first. We missed most of our shots, but at least we're taking... We're taking... We have a unit up here. Great shot. Yeah, we're going to go with more heart attack. Okay, let's take the airfield. That way we can see what's going on over here. They have an anti-tank gun, or uh, anti-air gun. They have artillery. That's not good. That's going to be hard to hit as well. With any sort of ranged power. This is heavy infantry, so we'll focus on attacks on this. Okay, let's get our heavy infantry here and entrenched. We also need to take this forest.
I need to pull them over here so we can see what's going on. He's no good over here. We could still entrench going on that tile. Because we're not seeing any armor. Yeah, we're not doing any damage to them because they're inside of that... Um, Inside of this tile, they do have a ton of entrenchment here. So it's better if they just come to us. You should artillery the artillery. That's a good... Uh, that's definitely a good idea. Uh, don't know why you would want soft attack on an AT gun. Yep. Yeah. I didn't give it soft attack, did I? Yeah, we gave it hard attack. But you're right, anything to do with... Same with my medium armor, I don't uh, put soft... The only thing I put soft attack on really is the uh, light armor. Alright, so let's artillery this piece here. <laughs> That's classic. Um, we're going to actually fire on these guys. Defender bio minus. Our accuracy is just no good. I want to pull these guys up because I want to try and hold this airfield. And if I can just straight up uh, delete units. That would be nice. I should have, uh... Would be nice to have another mortar attack for this. Next round, all of our support that we have available to attack that artillery is going for it. them to hit our lines. I don't know if they're going to bring anything this way. We're going to overwatch this so they can come out of their entrenchment and attack us if they so desire. And that's pretty much all we can do. Minus, they just hit him for 10. Holy shit. Wow. That's... That was quite the onslaught.
gonna have to use my air power here. I don't know if I just just destroyed that artillery. It's over here. We got rid of their AA gun at least. So we're going to give plus two range. Those hard attack and soft attack would be nice, but I think giving him, so he's not just lagging behind. Might get hit back here, yeah. Four to four. So we're going to move him here. We desperately needed that to hit. That was like non negotiable. So, heart attack again. These heavy infantry could be destroyed. This artillery. Please set up. Thank God. Okay. What do you have? Anti tank training? Thank God we bought that extra Sherman. Or, uh, sorry, extra. These aren't Lees. What are they? Oh, they are Lees. Yeah. Thank God we bought them. I always thought the Lee was a uh, light tank. Let's go for accuracy. Yeah, we need... Need to protect this anti tank gun from this tile. So, what's in here? It's light infantry and cavalry, so it's not a. It's not too bad. They're gonna have to just take it. Yeah, that's kinda. That's not good damage. head in here to provide a bit more support. We're not going to be able to entrench though. Can with these guys. Kind of split our forces up. I think we're pretty much finished here. I don't know if I want to take those numbers. Zero to three, yep. Alright, what do you guys get? No rivers, let them come. So, this unit gains two additional defense only during enemy turn. Or close defense. This unit has one additional defense when standing in close terrain. Hmm.
during enemy's turn. You need replenishment. Let me just do that before we do anything else. Well, I need these guys to move up. One thing I don't really like is how they show the amount of AP points and other values. What does 20 heart attack mean and damage points? I, I don't know what it represents. I just know probably the higher the better. Higher heart attack, 12 to 20 every attack, randomizes values from this from this range. I'm trying to decide what point I want for what we're about to do here. I obviously can't just sit on my ass and, you know, wait for these attacks. So I think I'm going to take the close defense. We're not going to be in close terrain though. At least not on these two tiles. Let's see if we can try and soften them up. We're doing two to them. Because I need to move these up so I can get my armor armor into position. Let's move them up. You should be pretty good against cavalry. Not as good as I thought. Wow. Yeah, tanks and closed terrain aren't isn't great. Two to three. Missed on that. So we're getting six to three. Two to three. I almost want to entrench. Bring these guys up. Give them, let them come. Let's see what values we get when we move in. Four to three. One to five. So we'll give this as well. We could also bring in, I mean, if we're desperate enough, we could buy this. A light infantry unit's not going to do much, though. Let's move the armor up. Oh my god. Okay. That's gonna do one. Yep. And you guys replenish so we can't use you. This infantry... Where can you go that would be reasonable? Really the only spot for you is here.
That's that artillery piece. Can we reach him? We're one short, so we're gonna have to... Let's move up. So we can do some anti-battery. Probably would have been smarter to put him over here. Because now he can reach us. The only other attack is here. This is level three. Let's take it. Two to one. All right, I was hoping we weren't gonna kill him. We still have an attack. Definitely take that. All right, so at least they're gonna be useless for their next attack round. or what are we getting against this? Yeah. Let's attack the cavalry. Okay, so that's it. another AA gun. Hold the line. Okay, so they crossed. Three pieces of armor just moved up. What are they firing at? Goes up armor. All right, that was not ideal. Working my way through uh, Erwin's campaign, and I've really enjoyed trying to get the brilliant victories. It's a challenge I haven't really seen in my other games. Yeah, I like Rommel's as well. Yeah, yeah the series that we're doing on uh, Rommel right now is a lot of fun. I prefer it kind of, I don't know, I just have a preference to playing as Germany. So I, I'm enjoying that a little bit more than this uh, American campaign. Also, I'm finding it a lot easier too on, on Rommel's to get the three stars as well. This American campaign seems to be a bit... Uh, more of a challenge. So, let's battery this. I hope it's still sitting there. We could recon. I'm trying not to use my recon. I need it for over here. Uh, I'm trying to use the uh, die bomb. So, did we just destroy that artillery piece? I hope. Now we can use this dive bomb for something else. Okay, so we need to mortar uh, these three pieces of armor. tank gun. If we can get rid of at least their light tank, or their medium tank, that would be even better. I literally had my fingers crossed over my mouse that we weren't going to miss that shot, because <laughs> that would have been pretty devastating. We need to get him out of here. Let's dive bomb the medium tank. 
And uh, four. Oh. Right, well, we'll take it. He's going to retreat. That's great. Perfect. Let's get him out of here. What if he fires? And then moves. So he just leveled up and got his HP or his health back, so that worked out perfectly. Alright, so this is a medium tank, so I always want to go with press the advantage. Gotta go now. Yeah, I'll see you later, Snars. Thanks for coming by. We'll see you on the next one, hopefully. Have a good night. So they're literally at one. So let's see if we can get rid of them. holding our own. Things were, again, dicey in the beginning, but okay when we continue. Just, if we can survive those first couple waves. I really want to get rid of this unit, but I also don't want to move and waste a turn. Excuse me. Getting rid of that armor would be nice, too. We'll take that damage. Yeah, we're going to get rid of this, this uh, advanced medium. I hope. Ah, oh, damn it. That's a shame. Oh, we have one more chance. There we go. AP restored. Perfect. Two to two. Yeah, these guys are pretty stubborn in these woods. back. You're pretty weak. I mean, could I... I wonder if I could put... What if I could just assault these guys? Does not have enough experience points to... Oh, this one. Switch to Assault Attack. 35% chance. That's not great. So, because they're entrenched and of perks. So, let's just cancel that. And we'll just play some defense. Take this opportunity to restore them. They are weak. They are an assault infantry, so we want to kind of keep them at high strength. So anti-air is always for the anti-air guns. Oof, that's interesting.
God, we had range on him. I'm surprised. Minus two. Let's use our strong stack to do some damage. Zero and four. Zero and four. Who's going to do better against this stack? One to three. One to three. So it's all the same. Let's get our assault infantry some experience. We are really weak up here. All we can really do is resupply. Oh, come on. You gotta take that point. You can move in. That's a great spot for our heavy infantry. That's great for us. Let's move up here and give these guys some entrenchment. And I might actually swing these... No, not you. Swing this armor out of here. Because this is just going to be an infantry slog at this point. You can't really go far. And we'll separate these two. Actually, I should put him over here. Just so we're not all sitting in one tile. And I'm going to buy another AT gun. Which is going to go where? It has to go on one of these two tiles. We're going to hold off on this. Because I don't want to put it down and it get destroyed right away. point back. Well, they're not going to get it. I don't think they are. Alright. Resupply. Now we can bring in another anti-air unit. Do you want to bring it down over here? They're not really attacking uh, our air, anything over here. With We do have an anti-air unit. Most of the bulk of our infantry is over here, so let's, let's bring it over. Because we're going to be pushing these units over soon. You can stick with the uh, armored units. Let's, let's move up first. Two to five. Can we hit them with mortars? We can't. That's pretty good damage. Perfect. These heavy infantry are turning out to be pretty good. So we can choose anti-infantry uh, mastery or anti-tank. I think I'm going to go with the infantry and let the tanks deal with the armor. 
five, five additional accuracy and four additional soft attack. I think that's what we're going to focus our heavy infantry on. And I want to see what's in this tile. Oh, a lot of stuff. Oof. Okay, we need to help him out. Um, get in here. I think this is the cavalry. Oh no, it's more infantry. Stealth. Stealth as always. And we'll pull up here. They can't reach this tile. Could actually take this objective, but it wouldn't be the, for the best. Possibly give him a level up. Yes. So we'll do let them come. That's going to help with the assault that they're probably going to do on that tile. God, I can even bring in more infantry if I wanted. Let's get both of our anti air units together. Actually gonna fire on these guys. That's a, a pretty big threat. Both well, missed. Okay. But we broke down some of their trenches. So three into the air unit there. We're gonna be artillerying that position next round. You're not getting away. Oh my god. What was I thinking? He's dead. Oh, we missed. How lucky is that? We missed as well. But we'll we'll take that as a win. give the... So they're both light infantry. These guys are level 3 already, so we'll give them some experience. Then we'll move up and see what the hell's going on in this tile. Two to six. Two to four. Uh, defense. I'm surprised we can hit this cavalry from... I figured this tile would block us. Poor horse. I think that's pretty much it. And we can move these guys up. But I can't do much. Might as well just move them up for... when they just get out of here. We can move them up to this tile. We can 
still move our armor. What's up there? Do I want to find out? It's always something um, unpleasant. Medium tank for the win up here. We're gonna lose this light tank. There's no way. There's no way around it. I can't pull him back, and he's not retreating. Actually, we can put him on Overwatch. Might as well do something with his AP. that thing out of here. Oh yeah, we're, that thing is finished. Oh, boom. Yeah. Okay. Well, we use our lights, light tank as a scout and that's what happens. I want to take their overwatch off. You can just retreat out of there. Trying to surround this guy. I think we're good there. Three to one. We still have one round of mortar. He retreated. infantry. Who do we want the experience? Or the heavy infantry? There's something in here. So we need our... I don't think we need our artillery focusing on this weapon. The infantry seems like it should be able to deal with it. So we have two airfields. We've got a, a decent amount of Air Force missions that we can do. I would like to know what's over here, because we're, this is, we're going in, like, completely blind. Okay, so that needs to go. But we're going to do one attack. We can't reach there. So we might have actually destroyed that thing. Let's see. Yes. So we'll do attack plus two. Now I do want to engage the armor here, but we can't move. Or we can't attack unless we move up. Hopefully we did something. Hopefully we at least took his overwatch off. It 
Still not great odds. Just pull back. We're fighting in hills here, so it's not ideal. There's a piece of light armor over there. attack there. Might as well move him up with his remaining action points. Biggest threat is this light armor. There's just not much I can do about it right now. Let's definitely get this anti-tank gun up to here. Wasn't as strong as I would like, but at least we hit him with one of our attacks. Can you overwatch? Yes. Right, that's it. Yeah, things are starting to snowball for us a little bit here. Well, we're, those first few turns were pretty sketchy. take this objective next. They didn't have any heavy equipment, so we can just move up. to take those odds. I'm going to use this over here. Cross. Okay, never mind. <laughs> just, just move forward. Okay, let's get rid of his Overwatch that he doesn't have, surprisingly. Five and two. I guess we could have gone on that tile. We should have went there instead of here. That was a mistake. Tank training. Now if we can kick them out of here, that would be great. This is heavy infantry. We're probably going to get bad numbers. Oh, we the cat the uh, th I thought that was heavy infantry. It wasn't. Can anybody reach here? Assault infantry. Can I get my heavy infantry in there? No. 
Okay, you're level two, level three. How close are you? So what perks do you get the stealth perk when you reach level f uh, three? So, oh, take that objective. And we got some more prestige. Anybody entrench in there? No. We have heavy infantry sitting in the town. Everybody push forward. as well move up if you can you can move up to here we'd be in range of an attack from this armor though with no ammunition he's just gonna have to sit there for now no what did we lose light infantry that's fine I just, I just don't care about them. Let's just make this pretty. That is it. Now we just have to decide who wants the experience. The heavy infantry wouldn't be a bad option. Uh, we also need to actually kill this medium tank. All right, so he got a bit more experience. Again, we can use our anti-air. We have a level one who could use the experience. So let's put him in. Perfect. That's great. All right. So now we're gonna have access to advanced medium tanks and heavy tanks or tank destroyers. I guess heavy tanks too. We have the M26 perishing. So that's good. But I'm actually going to end the stream here. Uh, yeah, we fought how many battles? We did three. So that was a pretty good pretty good time. It was good chatting with you guys in uh, the, uh, the chat. I'm still trying to get my wording right when it comes to the stream. Yeah, it was good chatting with you guys in the chat. And I'm not sure when we're going to do the next live stream. Possibly what, uh, Tuesday. We'll aim for Tuesday uh, with my work schedule right now. That'll be my next day off. So I hope you guys enjoyed the stream, and I'll catch all you guys on the next one. Have a good day. Bye for now.